with Monday morning from Leslie's plot. Um, I've just gotten a message this morning to rush around to one of my friends' houses to pick something up. I'll show you what she's managed to get herself for free. Well, this is our little fairy garden that she's put together. It looks nice in the dark. It's got a plant and all sorts of plant here. So when it starts uh, flowering, it should look nice. And that's a book hotel there. So it's got something I haven't already got. Um, that's what I've picked up this morning though. It's like a bird bath, a bird uh, feeder. It just needs a, a rub down and a couple of licks of paint. It'll be good as new. So that's what I've rushed around to get. It's solid cast as well, so it is heavy. Um, but that's just what I picked that up this morning. Right, I've got about an hour and a half. I'm going to go out in my garden. I'm going to dig them two beds over and get them done as quick as I can. Well, the time for talk is done. The time for action is now. I need to get this sorted. Let's get it done. Tell you what, I wish it looked as easy as it did just there because if you just look back and see how quick that was done. Um, I've got one bed done, I've got about half an hour left, so I'm going to make an attempt to start this one now as well. two beds dug over did a bit quicker this time the reason why i was quick on this one and i was on that one is for one sole purpose but halfway up this bed i had a snag i had a problem and that problem was horse tail now this is the horse tail root an absolute nightmare you chop it off it grows back it snaps very easily and you can't kill it with weaker because it's got a waxy coating on it. No, they look like little Christmas trees as they pop up through the ground, and it's an absolute nightmare. It's been uh, looks like it's traveling from that side through into the bed, and I've gone halfway down here. That bed was fine, so that's the problems I've had with that. Well, normally, at this time, once I've dug it over, I like to rotate it in, but can't do that this year. But let's not dwell on the past. Um, I'm gonna leave that as it is. Probably end up stomping it down or something like that, or I might end up hiring the um, rotavator from down at the allotment hood. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's a good job done. It's exactly what I want to get done this morning. Right, quick, 10 minutes tidy up, then I'm going to shoot off home. See that sweat? Don't get that from no dig. <laughs> now, I was going through that first bed, and all I heard in my head, self saying to myself, was, I'm not going to get that other bed done today because it was taking too long. I ended up telling myself four times that I couldn't do it. Well, I'm really bad because if I tell, if somebody says to me I can't do something, it annoys me. So, motivation wise, my motivation has just been hit, hit the floor and I have been struggling for it. Uh, but that's the reason as to why I've got my backside into gear today and this is a start this morning. The sun's out, it's a lovely sunny day. I've done it, I can do it, and I will do it. That's two beds done. I've got the rest of the ones to do tomorrow. I'm going to set the fire, get the set, fire set away for Grandad for later on now. I'm going to go to work finish work go home bed start again in the morning so believe you me if you don't think you can do it stop telling yourselves it just get out there make a plan stick to that plan and do it once you've hit the plan anything else you see doing if you've got time do it there and then and then it's then it's done so um well i'm gonna get cracked on i'm gonna head over home now and i'll catch you in the morning Good morning from the plot. It is Tuesday morning. It is absolutely blowing a gale outside. The polytunnel cover is going crazy out there. Obviously, because that's not tight. It's not task to do. Um, I'm going to get some more digging done today. I'm going to tidy up the mess from yesterday morning. Um, and then I'm going to next start next door and get stuff sorted next door. Right, so I'm just going to say, I'm trying to get cracked on. I'm going to get sorted. I'm going to get this section dug over here. Then I'm going to go ahead and dig that middle bed over. And then dig that bed there as well. And work my way up the garden as far as I can. So that's beforehand and after. As you can see, not a lot's been done. 
I'm only kidding. Um, I'm getting to that section yet. I've uh, dug over these three beds and getting things sorted. Yeah, loads of rotten wood down the side here. Um, I've dug out a lot of the weeds and stuff as well. I've got a few more things to tip off the surface. Um, so I've got this bed done when I had the sweet peas in last year. I've getting this side sorted out. Well, I tried to grow peas, but it didn't happen. Um, and I've grown the glad bed, which used to be a carrot bed, but I've never grown, I've never been able to grow carrots in it. Um, so that is going to get a mulch over the top of it. And I'm going to pop the covers on to warm the soil up. Possibly get a few early gladiolis or gladiola, gladioli, whatever you like to call them. I never took them out of there, so we should get something out of there in any case. Um, so yeah, that's about an hour's work in there. So happy days. Right, I'm going to tidy up next door because I didn't get around to tidying that. I've been more focused on getting that sorted out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up that section, clean the paths off, then I'll get cracked on next door and I'll get the other bed sorted out where I had the leaks and stuff. Another bed dug over. I'll tell you what, there's plenty of worm activity in here. You see these big ones as well. I've got a few dotted all over the place. Um, now see they're going back down again. But what I've done is the leaks that I had that were no good, I've just chopped them up and I've put them back in to the ground. Um, I'm going to do the same with this one here with the ones that's underneath that mat there. So I'm going to move that mat now and get that dug over as well. Right, that's them beds all tidied up, parts cleaned off, done and sorted. I need to sort out them two bits as well, which I'll have to go onto the to-do list and also clean the raspberry beds, but that'll be a job for another day. So that's them bits tidied up. Let's go next door and see what's happened so next like I showed you before, them beds are all sorted. I'm going to put the cover on top of them now. Um, I need to take all the leaks out of here that's got the, the flower spikes, is there no good? cleaned off sorry about the wind i've um, dug over these two beds all dug over i'm going to lime them beds now as well because they need to be limed um, and that's them done and then so the next few mornings there'll be a case of working my way up bed after bed see how far i get then that will be them all tidied up and sorted out as well so i think that's me done for the day so yeah i'm going to see what time it is uh, i'm just going to potter on basically i don't need to show you what i'm doing uh, i'm going to be liming them beds I'll pop over and see Quan and Dave, see how he's getting on. But other than that, that's me done for the day because the wind's starting to pick up, it's starting to rain. Uh, so that's me kaput for the day. So see how happens, well, see, what, see what happens over the next few mornings, basically. Like I say, I've got a plan, let's stick to it and continue on. So I'll catch you, uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Wednesday. Um, I'm just going to pot on some uh, leaks here because uh, I desperately need to be potted up and I've got some onions to pot up as well uh, then I'm going to head down to the plot and dig a bed another bed over um, I'm in the greenhouse here and I haven't been in for a couple of days Leslie's been sorting stuff out but we've got a um, return of a special guest Now if you remember last year we had some visitors they were blackbirds and it looks like she's returned or they've returned so there's the next day, it's already started. It's amazing how quick they build these things. But on top of that as well, there's another nest. What's happened is the first one's fallen off the top of there, landed on there, so I started building another one. So whether or not it's, it's good or not, I'm going to stick that back up there. I'm going to pull that out there for them. I'm not going to disturb them. I'm going to let them crack on. They've got a bit of music to listen to on the iPhone. <laughs> but it's tough for them for the minute. I've got these leaks to pot up. So it is a bit of a jump from uh, the smaller pot to the big pot. I think I've only got enough compost to fill one in any case as well. Um, but we'll return them. Fantastic. I'll just clean off a couple of flags here. Lovely and straight. I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to plant these this a little bit deeper so that I can keep this blanched so that's what i'm planning on doing i don't normally lift from here but i know it's all right so what i'm going to do is after i do that just transplant them into there and what i'm going to do just fill around the base there get some more compost and fill right at the top that's the first leak sorted out into the big pot bucket um it's going to be fun planting that out um <laughs> but it is what it is i'm even contemplating just putting these two into big pots um, and just growing them in big pots so I can move them around uh, just because these are for an early early show and the rest of course will all be for the end of September shows but we'll see what happens anyways they're going in these pots back in the greenhouse for the time being so I made a cardinal mistake I don't have enough compost at home so I am going to have to sort of mix and match and plan this morning I'm going to pop down to the garden now get a bed to go over bring some compost back home and get the other one done and as long with the other six uh, 
There are six onions as well, which need to be potted up. So let's head down to the garden. Well, it might look sunny on my face, but it's freezing in this cold wind. Um, I'm gonna get this bed dug sorted out. It's the bed in which I put the uh, chrysanthemums I got off Jeff Foreman last year, but I killed them off. I'm putting them in the ground for some reason. Uh, I think it's because it got too damp and too moist. Um, so I'm gonna take the cover off, I'm gonna dig it over. And uh, this year for chrysanthemums, I'm gonna put them in pots, um, just like three litre pots, then just leave them. So that's the plan for this year when he was with them. But I need to get this ground dug over first. So that's one down, seven to go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got two dahlia beds up there. Um, I'm sure there's potatoes under there. I'm sure there's potatoes under there and there. So don't know how long they've been. I don't know if they've lasted. The slug's probably getting them. The water's probably rotted them away, but we'll find out over the next couple of days. Because over the next two days, the seven beds are going to get dug. Well, them dahlias are going to be coming up. That'll be this garden done for this week and all the beds dug bar the one the leak bed. So time to head back home. Well I've got an hour to do the rest of that potting up. Back at home in the pigsty of a greenhouse. I'm not gonna lie, this is an absolute disgrace and here I've let it go. But nevertheless, time to get some potting on done. And I've made a mistake. I've left two five litre pots down at the garden because I thought I only had six of these giant onions for the second batch. I haven't. I've got eight. So I've gained two more onions. <laughs> Just trying to get on top of everything is a nightmare. But I'm going to pot the five, the six that I've got up in the five litre pots. I'm going to pot this other um, leak up as well. And then I've got the big onions to pot up as well. So I'm going to try and get all that done in about an hour and a half. Right, that's a two leaks sorted. I can't pull this one apart yet, like I have done with this one, because I need to get this one a drink because it was on the dry side. So the, the, the flags aren't pliable enough because they'll just split. So I'm just going to leave that and I'll do it when I come back later. Um, so that's them two into the big buckets. They'll be in the final buckets before I plant them out. Um, whether I plant them out in the ground or in the pots, I do not know yet. Um, but that's them done for another four to six weeks. Um, I'm going to move on to these Peter Glaze book onions for heavy so i'm going to get them potted in from two liters to five liters i'll just give you a quick look at the onions the second batch of heavies they're the root system doing really really well i'm going into some fresh compost and see how they get on over the next few weeks well that's me all done and dusted uh that's all i've got time for today um that's all of them eight uh, onions potted up for heavy these are the second batch. The first batch I need, do need to get potted up as soon as possible. I'll have to do that possibly tomorrow morning um, before I go down in the garden. But I've got my compost now, so that's that sorted out. They are looking rather splendid. So I've cleaned them all off. They're all staked up. They're all sorted. I've, I've bent over the, the older flutes. Um, I do need to start making some supports for these. But that is that done and dusted in any case. So yeah, that's me done for another day. Um, I shall see you all tomorrow. Um, like I say, I've got seven beds, seven beds to dig over. Um, and I've got some uh, ca uh, carrots to pot up. I've got onions to pot up. I've got lots of potting up to do. So um, hopefully I get it all done by the end of this week. If not, I'll have to move on into next week as well. But for the meantime, I shall see you all tomorrow. It's now Thursday morning down the plot. Hello, good sunny morning, everybody. Well, last night was absolutely teeming down with rain. It absolutely threw it down, so I'm expecting the ground to be boggy next door. All I'm going to do is, because I did plan on getting three of these beds dug over this morning, I'm going to go and take the covers off of all of the beds and I'm going to see what they are like. If they're not good enough to dig because it's too wet, then I'll have to leave that and plan something else um, and do that another time. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get everything, all the covers taken off. I'll see what potatoes are in the ground because, they're, like I mentioned yesterday, there's some potatoes in the bed still. Um, and so, see what we get. Anything is better than nothing. Nothing, never mind, we'll just crack on anyways.
too much of an ask. Especially after that downpour that we had last night. I can't even get this turned over. I'm just gonna hurt myself. Far too cloggy, far too claggy even, to be able to lift. There's just so much moisture in it from the rain. So what I'm gonna do is, because it's a lovely sunny day today, I'm gonna take the rest of the bed covers off and let the sun get to the ground. Hopefully it doesn't rain and I'll have to tackle this another day. So I'm gonna have to scrap my idea and plans for the day and uh, try and work out what else to do. I know I've got some potting on to do, so I might just do that instead. Apologies for the wind from the outset. Um, so that's all of the covers off except from this bed here. I'll do that another time because I'm going to try and sort out them. Uh, see if I can save any of them chrysanthemums. If I can it, I can it. I'll see if I can source some new ones. Uh, I'm sure I'll be able to get some. Um, this is a lesson, basically a lesson here. Do not put them in this ground because it's too moist. It's too wet. So that's all I've done. It's a shame about the weeds in this garden because it's all set up lovely. Just this half a plot here on this end. Um, like I say, I can't get that dug over at the minute. The deal is at the top, I want to see if I can save any of them. I'm not digging them up now though. I'll wait to let the sun get on the ground and see. Hopefully it doesn't rain over the next few days. But another task done. All right, I'm gonna pop over and see Grandad Dave. It's looking a bit bare at the minute. Of course, once I get it all dug over, and tidied up, that will be sorted out. I'll be pleased because that'll be half the garden sorted that I'll be already be getting ready for planting and that's just that leak bed to sort out. And then I've got the strawberry to go all the way down there, so I've got that to do. I'm pushing off my time for that. Um but yeah, I'm I think I need to manure this entire garden. I think it needs to be a good manure because it's been poor crops over the past few years. But since I took it over anyways, you always had a good good harvest of things in here. So I'm going to have to have a good think about what I'm going to be planting in here next year. I'm just going to absolutely cover it with 6x at the minute, because I haven't getting any horse manure, car manure. Next year, I'll be getting manured every bed. On the mobile, I'll show you the um, rhubarb. So this is my giant rhubarb. So there's some there. It's not the fire away there. There's some at the back there as well, which is good. And I've got some down here as well. So all of this is starting to come which is fantastic. Um, I'll leave these and uh, hopefully we can get something to take them all in, um for the heavies and also to Harrogate as well for heavies and for quality as well because this is where the quality one come from from last year that I got um, third place at Harrogate. I've got the compost bin in the house, needs a good turn over. But I've also got some already made stuff here as well. So I'll probably just throw all of this onto there to feed them that uh, rhubarb. But I'll be getting done another day. Just been having a look around the garden. Um, let me have a show. I'm just going to do a quick montage here of all the spring flowers that have uh, showed their faces at the moment. Well, I decided to pop over and see my grandmother, um, and uh, I spent an hour there. Um, sometimes you've got to take family in consideration as well. Um, the potting on can wait until tomorrow. The ground is starting to dry up nicely there with the covers off. Um, so for me, for today, that's me sorted. I'm going to get on with potting a few things up tomorrow morning. Um, the onions need doing. Um, I'm getting a cover. I'm sorry, I'm getting a greenhouse heat on Saturday. I just need to get myself a gas bottle, then I can start bringing the onions down to the garden because the ones in three litre pots need potting onto five litre pots now as well. Um, and then once the weather starts getting a bit nicer on the night time, I can put them straight into the tunnel. Uh, not the tunnel, the onion house, but that's the plan for that. Um, so yeah, at the minute, it's not very, not very fun viewing week, but a lot of work is being done um, and it's all in the progress of getting 
the uh, veg ready to go out into the garden. So I'll catch you all tomorrow for another exciting day. Look out for this weekend is me and Mr. Bump will be moving the 12 beard greenhouse from his allotment to his back uh, his front garden. Be back front garden, back garden, front garden. Um, he's already got the base sorted for that, so that should be fun. Hopefully, he doesn't have any accidents because you know what he's like with greenhouses. And no, I didn't push him through it before he starts saying anything else. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow. Morning. Just uh, drop the kids off at school. You know when you want to dig. You've got a plan to dig, and all of a sudden, you can't because it's pouring down with rain for two days. So I'll get myself fueled up, got some baguettes from Greg's, and now I'm going to go and do some uh, potting on at home. So I'll catch you all back that way. So very quickly down the plot, um, I'll show you the, the turnips and that that I saw the other day. Uh, we'll see how they're getting on. You can see they're up a height on the shelf at the top. There is snowball turnip, and as you can see, they are starting to show their faces. The purple Milan is also starting to show as well so that's not bad that considering i sold them on the 8th it's now the 12th so four days of germination and they're up fantastic right fire's done let's get back home and do some potting up very quick change of plan i'm going to go in the bottom greenhouse and for the time it's going to take to dig over the beds and tidy the bottom up It'll not take too long at all so i'm going to get cracked on with that at least i get some digging done <laughs> well christ what a mess <laughs> i've not been in here since well I took them tomatoes out and you can still see I've still got the tomatoes in from this side so well let's get this cracked on and sorted so take the menu of this bed as well um, I manured it with some cow manure last year that I found next door. Uh, I haven't been able to get any cow manure uh, or horse manure. Not for like a trying, but it's just that um, I don't have time at the moment to run back and forward. And I've only got my car. Um, I'm trying to find, see if I can get somebody to deliver some. Um, but the one guy that I found, the, the loads aren't really big. Um, and I need a couple of loads to do the gardens, but I'll sort that out next year. In the meantime, I will be using some 6X from Vitax. Which comes in these are just just is just chicken manure in pellets and what i'll do is i'll dig some in and then i'll also put some on the top and water it in and that's what i'll do and this will feed the bed and then when it comes to planting out i can plant out with some more goodies as well so all i do is just a handful just across the area it's all that needs to be done you don't want to be chucking absolutely loads on because this is as it entails six times the strength of standard manure hence the term 6x so just chuck some on there I'll dig that in and I'll put some more on the top then I'll water it in and I'll do that on both sides I've got to tidy this side up first though so uh, let's get cracking Right, so that's that bed done, that's that bed done, so I just need to water them in, which is fine, I'll do that next. Um, and one task I keep forgetting to do, it's now March, um, I sowed the tomatoes a few months ago and I've got the tomatoes for, it, what's going in here is the short tomatoes, the giant tomatoes, that's what's happening here this year. Um, so I put a few in, I put some cucumbers in as well, the long cucumbers, so I'll do one cucumbers, one tomato bed. Um, I need some marigolds for the tomatoes and um, I've got them all at home. So just in the meantime, when I've got them, I'm going to try and see if I can get some uh, from the old plants, because they're all dried off now, lovely. Um, the ones that I sold from last year and potted in the pots last year, uh, as you can see, you get tons and tons. I know Jeff has saved his own, own uh, marigolds for the last 16 years or so, for however long he's been doing it. Um, so I'm going to put a few of these in a tray and we'll see what comes of them. So I'll take these back to the top of the greenhouse, I'll do that, um, then that's me done for down the garden today. I take up stay up of the greenhouse even that's after much better not bad for about half an hour's work smashing let's go get these marigolds so we'll just sew in these all done is just pull the tops off and, and the inside as you can see there's all these 
seeds that's what the seeds are so all i'm doing is just on a big tray clear them out and get some compost just to cover them over and then that'll be hopefully the first of the marigolds sown oh now we can bit difficult doing this one-handed but nevertheless i'm going to just thin the iron over the top just to get them going happy days so i have tried this in the past and actually the seeds i think are still up here somewhere yeah, I think that's in there, marigolds. Uh, yeah, there. Marigolds from French marigolds. They're all still in there, but they didn't germinate, so to be honest, I can chuck them out. Um, but yeah, hopefully see what happens with these ones when we get these put somewhere nice and warm, staying in this greenhouse. So back at home now in the greenhouse, I've just sorted out the compost. I'm going to do the big onions first, then just sell far and get. So uh, <laughs> wish me luck, I need to get as much done as I can. So here's a show of the giant onions root system. Fantastic, that's for me. Just better ignore the air nests. Um, so just get that put into here now. Just too big. <laughs> too tall up. The pots are really big that I've potted them into. <coughs> so just let them on the top. Shut around. And there's the first giant onion potted up. Now we've just got to get the other ones done and I'll show you what they're like when they're finished. Well, let's have a look at this one then, because this is the biggest, biggest giant onion that I've got at the minute. And I've got that I've run out of compost now as well, filling these massive pots up. Um, so this one here is the biggest that I've got. So I need to try and do it as much, little, sorry, as little damage as I possibly can when I'm transplanting it over. Now it's all already done there, so I'm just going to... I'm going to have my back turned here because I need the middle section here, the greenhouse, which is the highest. Just move them out the way. Just want to get in. Just loosen it off the bottom. Just right down to the top soil. It's got the roots on it. Corks it out. And there we go. Right, so this is what I've got so far. Oh, that's really very heavy at the top. That's good, I've got a cork. Well, there we go. Crack the root system on that. I'm going to stick it in this pot now. Move the fruit up the way. Have. push it down a bit get the pot a good tap and there we go now I just need to put the new stakes in so I'm doing four now instead of three and I do need to get some rings for the top but unfortunately I don't have any yet I need to make some so I'm just making do with the green clips a lot of people have been asking about these green clips Green clips you can get off Amazon. Um, you can uh, from Elixir Garden as well on Amazon. Um, uh, I get mine from the Lotman shop. They are eight pence each from the Lotman shop. So I'll let you do the maths in regards of what you need. So I'm going to quickly do this. You don't need to say it in slow, normal speed. So I'll quickly put you back on the time lapse. Three giant Billy Lamb onion pips that I've got left are all potted in. I don't even know the size of these pots, but they're massive. I mean, look, there's my hand. 
but they're big rose pots and they from here they'll be going into the 30 litre air pots so uh, another six to eight weeks they'll be going into the greenhouse now the one in the middle is the biggest these two are catching up hopefully they'll all they'll still be all right as uh the weeks go on um i've opened up the best i can at the top so what i'm going to do i've got some uh, garden hose which i've used for the other um the other setup as well i am going to uh, use a garden hose as well and uh, more support around the top because i don't need any lower down anymore now for the size of them i am i'm quite happy with where they are at the moment uh, there's no damage at the bottoms from what i can see and they're all sitting nicely this one here as you can see there's a there's a marker pen about the same size as sharpie as people like to use the sharpies and uh if we'll have a look here let's do it this one hand the onion is currently about just under five inches they're the same size as the uh, the leek uh, the onions uh, the leek i've got in the greenhouse as well so now we've got to find somewhere to put these in the shed but another good task done it's time for me to leave for work so i've run up a compost now i need to go and get some more which will have to be done at the weekend so i can get some cash um and i've got some i've got lots of planning to do but i've got to go and help i'm going to go and help mr bump as well and speaking of mr bump it's his youngest daughter's birthday today so happy birthday melanie it's the third birthday today um and I'll, I'll see you tomorrow and happy birthday um but i'm going to be uh going to get changed now for work and uh, find somewhere to put these so i shall catch us all tomorrow saturday for a fun-filled weekend of dismantling greenhouses right i'm up with mr bump he's clearing the front of the car out what's that what's that nothing <laughs> toilet roll run <laughs> oh no i dropped the toilet roll <laughs> Well, I've got my toilet roll for the next week. <laughs> Anybody want to buy some? It's a hundred pound. <laughs> well, I'm going to go into his garden now and start dismantling that greenhouse. Right, on John's plot. This is the greenhouse that we're taking down today. So, we're just going to get cracked on with it. I'm going to set you up and we'll get some time lapse on the go. Well, that's, the roof. that's the roof glass on. Then we get the sides panels done. It's going to be fun putting it back up. I'll make one big jigsaw. <laughs> There we go. One greenhouse deep pained. How the fun begins. It's got to get dismantled. <laughs> now I have to mark it up and uh, see if we can go get it in the van in one go. Well, there we go. One green enough to smattle. Now the fun part of putting it in the van and taking it back to John's. Then we're going to start putting the frame back up. Hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the day, we'll have the frame up at his place. So, back at John's now. He's uh, already got the base and everything sorted out. That's your drill, matey. Uh, we're going to sort the base out. We're going to get the frame up as fast as we can. So it'll be a lot quicker for you guys, of course. Um, but we've got to start by securing the base back down. So, no, shouldn't take long, John. Yeah. 
Shouldn't take long. So when putting up a greenhouse, a handy tip, when it comes to the nuts and bolts, just snap them off when you're taking them out. They are cheap as chips and it's always best to put brand new bolts on. Uh, so that's exactly what we're doing with the new ones here. So much easier to put it back up again as well. So like I say, a handy tip. It shouldn't, shouldn't take too much longer to get this up now. Turns out we left a few of the roofing bits down at the garden, so we've just had to nip back down and go and get them. Right, we're gonna get this frame up, so it shouldn't be took, it shouldn't take much longer now. Well, there we go, frames up and done and sorted. John's just getting the door now to see if the door slides on nicely, which we're going to check now actually. And then uh, tomorrow he's going to uh, give it a good scrub down because he might as well do it properly. And hopefully we'll get the glass for it tomorrow as well. I want to see what this door's like. The door fits on rather well. He's going to put a step on the front there, goes over the top just like the one in my onion house. But uh, that's all done. He measured up well as well. So well done, John. Thank you. <laughs> Did the base half the job is the base, but that's it all up. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, just like I said, the insides and stuff. You might as well get them a clean. So John's going to go over the wire brush. He's going to put some grease in the door frames at the top there as well and then uh, give the glass a clean and um, once the glass is cleaned we're going to get it put in which see if we can get it done tomorrow hi see if we can get it done tomorrow yep and it's a job, job good job done and you can start doing the insides as well he's already got the um, he's already got his path in the middle and what he's going to do is he's going to uh, he's going to have a couple of raised beds in here well your you bed anyways build some benches and stuff but that's for another time but hey jobs are good for the day mate thank you very much for your help that's all right we'll get it done and sorted tomorrow so yeah, not too bad, 12 by a greenhouse, down from one place, transported and put back up again. Just a frame like, but uh, that's some, that's not pretty much the hardest work done. Uh, the next jigsaw we're going to be doing is the glass. Because <laughs> that's, that's going to be first done this year. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, Sunday morning. Lots to get sorted today. Um, I'm down at the plot this morning. I um, asked John if I could borrow one of his tools um, as I'm going to cut a slit in the flue because it's getting far too warm and uh, I've run out of time, run out of patience regards to waiting for the dampness. So all I'm going to do is just stick a hole, cross the pipe and just get a bit of metal and just throw it in. And that'll stop the, the, the burn through the night because it's getting far too hot in here too quick. So this is what I'm. Uh, this is what I'm gonna do this morning, and I'm gonna head up um, to see John, and we're gonna make a start on his uh, greenhouse. I should have done this weeks ago. <laughs> so got the hole cut in the pipe. Fits in perfect. I can push that right in. I can push it out a little bit. It's going to help greatly keeping the fire going as long as possible. Right, I'm just going to do a bit of a uh, bit of playing with the fire at the minute now. So with this throw plate in, uh, damp not even. So I've already marked out where the full where it's fully locked in. I am going to just put it about halfway. 
Then I'm gonna leave that until later on when I come back later on this afternoon and see what the fire's like because I've just banked up. Time is catching up. Um, I'm gonna have to get the tomatoes and stuff potted up next week. I am off on Tuesday, so it's a good opportunity for me to get the potting up done that I can with the, the compost that I've got available. Um, but in the meantime, I'm heading up to John's and see if we can get this greenhouse finished today. Well, day two. Cleaning off the greenhouse. It's gonna be a lot easier. Doing with the jet washer. <laughs> So we're cleaning, John's is cleaning the frame off at the minute and then we want to get the glass cleaned and put the glass in as well. It makes you laugh, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like when you go to Ikea and get furniture, you always going to be missing a screw or a bolt. <laughs> we took a down wall and we'll end up losing three panes of glass. <laughs> so John's waiting to see if he can get see if he saw some more through the, through the back garden there. Um, but we've just got to put this, this side on, there's a little bit at the back, then the front needs to go on, and then we just give it a jet wash down, and then it's done. Well, look at that, he's from three bits of glass, clear as day. Two of them fit at the top and there's a little gap at the top just like there is on the other side. So he's going to take one of the little bits of glass, cut it in half, then job is a good one. Yeah, we got that all sorted and done. Two days, both managed to get the greenhouse taken down from his garden, take the glass out, get the frame up, getting the glass in. Just needs a scrub now, but he can sort that out another time. The main thing was getting it done and sorted. It's on, had to put a couple of new bits of panes of glass in, but never mind. New clips are in, new screws are in, new bolts are in. This thing isn't gone, it's gone nowhere that. <laughs> So I'd say that's a good job done. I think I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and that's gonna be it for the rest of the uh, rest of the week. So uh I'm gonna have this coffee and I'll sign off. Good job. Thank you. Well that's me done for another week. It has been a very extremely busy week this week, so uh Lots and lots of things done, but that's how I should be. I should be back on with it, I should be getting it done, getting it sorted while I can. Um they say John helps me a lot, so I didn't. I put the weekend aside so I can get his greenhouse up, and what a hell of a job we've managed to get done the past two days as well. Um, he's just got to clean the glass off, and that's pretty much all sorted as well. So lots of looking and uh, seeing what's happening in the world as well recently with uh, everything that's happening with this uh, coronavirus thing. Um, it's basically the flu. People need to stop panicking. It's it it is it is serious, but as soon as the warmer weather comes along, it'll kill it off. May come back every year. <laughs> well, look at the back of this 10 years' time. People panic buying things. Leave some for other people. It's don't panic. Um, but other than that, said that the better. Um, it's going to be me a week of early next week. I'm off on Tuesday and things. I've got tomatoes to pot up. I've got a few other things to pot up as well. And I've also got the roof panel in the shed to sort out now. Now, with the fire, 
hopefully we'll see how things go with the fire after the changes which I've made today. Um, hopefully it's for the better. Granite Dave's pleased with what I've done so far as well. But that's me signing off for this week. Thank everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for subscribing. Look out for next Wednesday as I will be going live once again at 9pm. And I'll see if I can come up with something. Like little questions, answers, things like that. We'll sort something out in any case. But we'll have a good old ch chin wag in any case. So I'll see you all on Wednesdays. For those that I don't see, uh, you'll catch me all next week, next Sunday. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, and I shall catch you all on the next one. Mm -hmm.